grab your drinks, guys. It is time to put the world away. And what do I have for you guys today? Builders of Egypt prologue. What is this? It is an early access game, free, free to play. So get it. If you like city building games, if you like a little history here, simulation, um, what other tags are for this? Historical, yeah, you're building an economy. It also has um, like supply chain stuff. So some strategy into it and sandbox. Yeah, kind of create your own city. I like these type of games strategy um, 4x city building colony sim those are my type right up my alley so let's take a look at this game there's been hey over 3,000 uh, reviews and mostly positive um, this is the prologue I'm gonna play but let's take a look at some of these uh, little videos here see what they got to offer little idea what's going on all right okay All right, let's take a look at this other one really quick. Whoa, talk about some wonders. Look at that, wow, it's a monster. All right. Building up a city, got your farms, you got your houses, management, you got probably trying to keep people happy of all their different needs and wants and desires. Granaries and bazaars, trading, looks like a ship there. Okay, looks like we can trade with the different towns or cities here. There's fires, okay. And there's enemies. You gotta build some defensive structures and rah, charge. <laughs> All right. Again, it's an early access, so there's gonna be a, a lot of stuff that's probably not available right now. But this is awesome. We get to help the developers put down in the comments what you like, what you don't like, what you want to be added, what you don't want to be added in these types of games. There's lots of these games out here, but. This brings back some memories of when I was younger. I used to play a game called Pharaoh. Um, and it reminds me of that. So let's jump in this. All right, let's start playing. Just play a little bit through the tutorial. If there is a tutorial, I'm imagining so. Give you guys just a little peek of what this game's about. So maybe you guys can enjoy it. Enjoy it. If, you, if it looks good, you can get it. That's kind of how I buy games. So I kind of look on YouTube and watch someone else play it. And okay, before I want to spend some money, do I? Is it something I'm gonna like? Is it a game that looks like I'll get some good value out of it? I'll enjoy it. So let's let's just go. Uh, let's just get right to a campaign here. Let's call it a. Uh, showboat there we go let's just click start huh what's going on all right but your read up is if you like history this probably talks yeah the first egyptians and stuff or um their meals were based on bread and beer sign me up man and you got a bunch of in-depth read up you want to read all that so a little history in the games you can learn a lot from games how the Egyptians lived and 
their culture. Enab, Hij, what year was that? 30 BC, 3029 up here I have, current year, BC. A glorious capital for Kemet, the ruler of Upper Egypt, King Narmir, conquered Lower Egypt and united the kingdom on the Nile. Now the country needs a capital. Needs probably, there needs to be A in there, A capital. King, aha, hey, he's got an idea. Narmir's successor sends you to Memphis to surprise the construction, oh, excuse, to surprise, <laughs> to supervise the construction of this magnificent city, a political, administrative, and religious center, which will become home to the royal family. And, thank, and thanks to its monumentality, wow, will strengthen its authority. So look at wind conditions here. We're going to gather a bunch of bread and bricks and pottery and dwellers. Let's get going right here. Basic information of this short tutorial is intended for the early access version and will be expanded as the game develops. Here you will learn the basics, rules of the game. Click on the right arrow to go further or press, let's press the space bar. Here we go. In ancient Egypt, the idea of, cur of, the idea of currency is, uh, was unknown. The work was paid for with bread and beer. So here, here it is. All right. To simplify the mechanics, treat these resources as, a co as the cost of placing buildings. Okay, so there we go. Bread and beer is what we're going to be spending spending in, uh, on it. And here it is. It's showing us there. Um, there's a road, looks like. That's a space bar. Let's continue here. We've got all these fancy buttons here. we got a religion tab. We've got some, the number of inhabitants, available workers. Um, We'll learn here as we go, guys. Let's see how big this map is. Here's the W W A S D. That's the top. It'll go over to the bottom. It looks beautiful. Looks good. And I don't even have the strongest uh, laptop here for. Wow, there's lots. <laughs> okay, lots of desert. All right, and then here's I'm guessing is the Nile. So let's get wherever those dancing arrows were. Where were those at? Uh, yeah, yeah, here we are. Okay. The settlement development should start with designing a grid of streets. Select a road from the building list and place a street. All right. Well, we can we can figure this out. Look at it. It's highlighted. It's idiot proof. Even I can do this. So let's build some streets. Looks like this snake looking thing here. So how do we do this? Can we drag and drop? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All the way over there. Okay. Make it pretty easy for us. Uh, oops, click and then all the way over here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we can do that. Click there and then click at the end. It's kind of hard to see the end there, the dancing arrows. I think I'm passing. I think I'm getting an A, guys. We're doing good. All right, well, that's quick. Build, select a house from the building list and, and place it next to road so you can rotate the buildings with the R. All right, so let's get it. Here it is, the same screen, same button as the roads. The three people here is a symbol for the house and it's gonna cost 15 bread. How much did the roads cost? 10. But there's our bread up there. Let's just, how does this rotate? Just R and there it goes. Yeah, let's just plop them down, baby. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll give them a little space in between. I like that. The building place like this will encourage immigrants to settle in your city. It has a su sufficiently, if it has sufficiently high levels of satisfaction, can't get no satisfaction, which as you will notice in the later game, it is not easy to achieve. Yep, okay, what, what's this? We got a message, what's this message? Let's click off this button here. Okay, click here. Incoming to what? Yeah, we got some incoming. Where are they at? Whoa. Oh, they're spawning here at the gates. What's it? It looks like there's a, there's a female. There's a male. The female's got a basket. Yeah, put them to work ready. Put them to work quick. Get them to work. Where are they going? They're going over to the house, I reckon. All right. Um, okay, let's press space bar. Let's advance. Remember that you can always demolish a building. Really? Okay. 
All right. Well, let's practice them. Oh, there's a hammer. Hammer time. Okay, we get it. Oh, we get some. We get some back. Some bread. All right. The dwellers needed to be protected against fires, right? Do they? Should we protect them? Yeah, let's do it. It's like the fire station right here. It's called administrative buildings, and it's the only one that we can pick. So that makes it easy. Oh, there's arrows. So that must be the front. Front. We rotate it right there. Why not? Building info. Here we go. Note that after clicking on the fire station range, we can click on it. Oh, there's a little gotcha. There's a little, um, the coverage of the air. You guys can see that red circle. That's the coverage of this one fire station. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Okay. And then it says the farther it's out, the less, um, Blah, 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 blah. But production route reduces as the distance increases. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Let's click on one of these houses here. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of uh, info on this. Access to well. All right, building info. Okay, we did that. We clicked on that. We understood about this fire. Let's just follow. I, I get sidetracked and I just want to wander and click all the buttons, but I... I'm trying to focus guys here on the tutorial so you guys kind of understand we can we can all make sense of this together check them out are they going in there bloop he went in let's see there's two of five and this is probably going to tell me on that tutorial I don't know what I'm what am I doing let's click it it is high time to look at the buildings you have constructed use left mouse button to select the house ah, I'm already see I'm already ahead of it the details of the building will be displayed. If you look from the top, you'll notice things listed. Okay, current warnings. Uh, oh, this looks like no dwellers in this one. It says three, three of five. What are you talking about? Uh, there's a house level of one, so it looks like we can upgrade this house big time. Uh, available workers there, the dwellers, and then all kinds of, look at lettuce and wheat and meat and lettuce and chickpeas and pomegranates. I said lettuce twice. There's a lettuce. Another type of lettuce, okay. Um, there's straw, all kinds. I like that, all the different types of resources. I like those types of games. So the trading will be a big factor here. All right, yep, we read all that, all the stuff in that queue. Okay, let's space bar it. Uh, note that each house has its own range, which determines the maximum distance to the, to the building in which a dweller can work. Okay, so they're gonna, you know, they wanna be close to their work. So what, where is that? Oh, it's a pretty big, a radius look at that see that red circle there kind of a lot of windows open right now but you can see it it's pretty good range okay um but workplace or workplaces such as a mine is worth considering building a work camp which is most is mostly a self-sufficient unit okay that makes sense okay whenever we get there house upgrade really in order to upgrade the house the well should be placed in accordance with the requirements we have just observed building a well so yeah i did notice that here's the house right here in the middle access to well i guess it needs water makes sense so let's put the well down here in sanitary the the water drop here 50 bread whoa there we go so now these should oh there they are boop there it is they upgrade in so what's the next thing? Access to well. He got one, my friend. Are these upgraded? So let's see. Access to one of one type of food. You guys see where I'm I'm clicking here? Or I'm just hovering over. So they're all upgrading. That one's not upgrading yet. Uh the house will now be upgraded if it if it has been completely occupied. Oh, completely occupied. These guys still need one more dweller in here. Got it. These are maxed out. Five of Oh, it was five of five. So now they upgraded to another, a bigger type of house. And now they can um, house two more people. So it's five of seven. Okay, okay. Um, the house will be upgraded and completely is is by the road and meets all the conditions. Okay, remember that, that if there is something missing from the previous level in the next level of the house, the house will be degraded. Oh, so you gotta, gotta keep, keep an eye on that. Um, Okay, let's push space bar where we at 
So here we go. Production chain. Each city needs an organized production for its growth, starting from the production of basic resources necessary for the upgrades of the houses. Right. We gotta build a clay pit. Okay, let me build this clay pit. And let's get it. It's tell me where to put it. Sixty bread. It's gonna cost us. So those arrows. Does that, does that matter? I was gonna plop it down. Noach, note, a noach, a noach. <laughs> no, that's that that noach just means not that each all put together. And that's a noach. Note that each building requires workers to be assigned from their homes. So production buildings have a minimum number of employees below which they don't below which they don't start working. Uh, with a maximum number of employees, production reaches 100% efficiency. Keep an eye on the workforce in the settlement. So let's just click on this. What do they need? Boom, they already got eight of eight. So it's 100% effectiveness. And there's a bar going up here. I guess that's the clay. That's once it gets 100, they got one clay. Let's just, now we got to look. Uh, keep an eye on the workforce in the settlement by building new houses. Is there a speed up and speed, speed down button here? I don't see one, guys. Let's just take our time. We do have an option here. Stop working this building or just shut it down. So there's the risk of disease, the risk of collapse, and the risk of collapse. Risk of, it's probably going to say risk of fire. Let me just, it's early access. Got this right here. Looks like there's a disco here on top of this one. Look at the lights. <laughs> They're partying up in here. That's the, that's the fire station. Yep. Maybe there's a fire on the fire station. I don't know. Let's keep a look at the birds flying by here. So 89. Let's go. Come on. Come on, clay. We're going to produce a clay. Is this going to go to one of two? 95. 96. 97. 98. 99. 100. Nope. Huh. Okay. We're learning. Maybe we got to click on it again. Let's click off it. Click it back on. Yep, there it is. So it didn't. You had to click it off and then click it back on. So we got one of two clay. Okay, blah 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 blah. Let's space bar that. The production of wares may require the construction of more than one building within the production chain. You will find information about the building by left clicking on it. Yep, we just did that. So right here, natural resources, which is right there in that area. And this clay, they've got workers there that's getting the clay from the ground, right, guys? Finished wares are collected by the employees of the stockpile and store this. So we got to get a stockpile, administrative building, stockpile. Um, got, I see these arrows. Is that where, oh, the arrows, is, they have to have a road by that. I got it. Okay. Let's see real quick. We click on that. And it's odd. I mean, quick. People wanted to work there quick. 10 of 10. We got... 56 people here. We got 30 available workers. Okay, so let's stop talking and start building 100% effectiveness. We got one carrier. Really, then we can do all kinds of stuff here. Collect. We can get a maximum of this store, store stockpile of 4,800. And all these different items. Oh, yeah, I'm loving that. I like that. Managing. I like those type of games too. Strategy, management games. I didn't say I'm good at them. Oh, and there's the carrier. Check them out. Yeah, he's got the clay in the back there. Oh, there's some more clay being stored there. So he's gonna, he's he's the worker there for this. Oh, there's another carrier. What? Oh, there's two now. Oh, okay, giddy up. Hamburger. Okay, production chain. Blah, 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 blah. We just said all that. Uh, production to complete one, one typical production chain, build a brick maker. So, okay, we need the brick maker for the clay. Right now, that clay, the guys are they're storing it here. We can see it. Can I rotate this? How do I rotate E? Yeah, there it is. There's clay sitting there. All right, so now we need... What is it? Get this guy. Brick maker. 90. It costs us 90. We got a lot of bread. Look at it. We got 15. Is that 15,000? My goodness. So there's only access there. Let's rotate this baby. So we don't have to build any more. that it why not right there at 90 some production buildings require specific conditions or locations wells must be built by the river 
quarries by the hills and woodcutters require forests which may be depleted if you devastate the entire woodland okay so good to know right and we got the well right there so you can click on the well and there's its rate as it's hitting all our buildings barely this corner of that building i don't know if it counts this guy might be thirsty so all right let's click on it boom Remember that buildings within a single production chain must have been connected to the same road network. Okay, so keep it going. Got to keep the flow going, guys. Keep that production going. So we can see, what do we have anything in here? Where's the clay at? Got all zeros. Where's That's beer. That's what I want. The b -b 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 beer. <laughs> clay. It's a zero. That can't be true, is it? Let's see here. Yep, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to, yep, they took it all, so there must be, are there workers in there? Oh, yeah, look at them, they're lining up the clay. Yep, they got their clay there, they be working, we got 10 of 10, so, oh, so Brickmaker is going to need a couple straw, uh, clay, and then they can make the brick, so they're waiting for some straw, we got to get going, where's, so hold on, guys, I'm getting dizzy here, I like it this way right now. The rivers to our north in game here so we got uh 20 people working let's get going ah uh, blah 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 stockpile okay yep uh the inhabitants need food to improve their houses as before we need to create another production chain each sub subsequent upgrade okay please no nothing bigger than and then two syllables in the game okay <laughs> or i get tongue-tied of the house has its own different requirements okay you can check them in the house information card okay let's click on one of these houses right now they need it says access to one type of food okay for the upgrade it as again so let's click space bar okay they tell us to build a fishing wharf all right it's telling us to play right there you don't want it there but you want it right there huh food production so right there looks like a fit 90 bread it's going to cost us let's put it uh, can we put it in the water? No, it won't go in the water. Okay, right with this arrow, right there. Bloop. Oh. And then it's the food. <clears throat> the food produced has to be stored. Food now is stored in granary. Other everything else, raw natural resources are stored here at the stockpile. Food though is in the granary. So let's go in the granary. Three hundred. How much is it costing us? 375 bread um why not we'll put the road on that on that side the food now okay so the fish are going to be stored here at the granary the food now from the granary is distributed through bazaars if the bazaar is supplied with wares the inhabitants will continue to deliver them to their houses okay we got to get a bizarro is that what they're called 60 bread this is going to cost us Let's rotate it so it's access to a road. Uh, yeah, let's click it right there. The finished wares can be used to build a monument. Oh yeah, if the mission requires it or it can be traded away. To do this, you need to set up a trade route. To do so, click on the region map icon on the top corner. Oh, check it out right here, guys. You guys follow my air. Guys, follow my cursor. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blue, blue, blue. Oh, right here. <laughs> Right here. Oh, check out the birds. Right here. Oh, did my game crash? It's a snow blizzard. Uh oh. I think maybe my game crashed. Oh, okay. Maybe it didn't. It's loading up the region. Economy, you are on the region map. Let's take a little gander here. There's the Mediterranean. Oh, it goes quite a ways. Way over here in Africa. Wow. It's kind of excessive, unless we're going to be. Over here, the Horn of Africa, right? I know my little bit of geography. Okay, so here's the Nile. Where's our city, right? Oh, our city. You will find your settlement on the map and all other then known settlements. You can only make contact with some of them at the beginning, but this situation may change during the, during the mission depending on, this, on your results and choices. Okay, so there's our city. Perfect. Um, let's click on the selected settlement to see to see what's trading there yeah let's click on these guys can't click on the name 
how do we do this? I gotta zoom in. Here it is. Yes, Abydos Village. Well, that's open trade road to city. Let's do it. Opening the trade route to Abydos will cost 200 bread. Well, we got plenty of bread. Let's do it. The trade route has been opened. From time to time, a trader or a ship will come to the city to exchange their wares. At the beginning of each year, the amount of purchased wares is reset. So if a trader exchanges all his goods during the year, he will not arrive again until the next one. You must first determine whether you want to import, export, or do nothing. The default option blocks the possibility to import and export. To change it, click the economy icon. So, <clears throat> want to sell, want to buy. So we can buy, we can buy some uh, bricks. We can buy some clay here. I'm not sure how to do it. Let's go up here. This is the, the hello. This is what they're trying to tell me. So here we go. The goods. Look at all. That's awesome. Look at all these goods. Oh yes. Figs. Yummy, yummy. To real quick, what's the most expensive weapons? 360, 360 bread, and you can get your own weapon. 360, 320 jewelry. That makes sense. That's the big one. 320. Yep, 320 jewelry. 350 gold. Okay, so gold is weapons were the biggest one, right? Weapons 360, and then gold, and then jewelry. It makes sense. The the goods you already produce and you can export to Abydos are bricks. Change your policy on bricks to export. Okay, where are the bricks, guys? Is this in alphabetical order? No. No, because wheat's up top. Bricks. Here we go. So how do we change it to export? Import. Ex Look at that, guys. I'm getting an A, ain't I? I got an excellent. Look at that. Excellent. If you want to keep bricks in a specific stockpile, you can set it in its option on the information card. All right, we gotta find that out. Right here, click it. It's moving. Maybe you can in the next, it's not done yet, maybe. But each stockpile, maybe we can set like, okay, we want 100 bricks to be stored here, or we want only bricks to be stored here at the stockpile, or whatever, we can adjust it. Right here, what's this? Knowing the basics of the game, you can focus on completing the mission. To recall the conditions of victory, go to the general tab. Where's the general tab right here? Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Okay, let's click on the mission because it's kind of screaming at me here. Um, we have the wind conditions here. Uh, we need to gather this much bread, this many bricks, this much pottery, and this is how many dwellers. We're almost there. 19, if I can do math. Okay, yep, we did. We clicked on it, buddy. But let's city stats. Okay. Prosperity, hey, we're already at a 10. Prosperity, we got city, we got culture. This is a little small text, but I'm getting old, guys. To me, it looks like a little, there you go, developers. Get that, get that text a little higher, unless it's in the settings. It might be in the settings, we can adjust these texts. I can barely read that. Religion, family, and monument, I think it says. Uh, looks like there's army tab, there's a mission history. You can check out your history of the game. That's awesome. Um, diplomacy, which we don't, Nobody, we don't have no anybody. There's some gods here. Oh, look at this, Osiris. Okay, that's the only one I can pronounce. Horus and Pita. Yep, I probably said those correctly. I know I did. Different gods in here. You can we can tease the gods, and they might give us some perks. How many shrines we got? Poor festival, common festival, grand festival. Okay, we'll see. And then our finances. <clears throat> our import export tax is stolen. People are gonna steal from us? I don't think so. We'll get them. Chop their hands off. Chop, chop, square. Balance wages of employees. Oh, we can adjust this up and down. Okay. Who knows how far, how high you can get up? You can get the taxes up. Yeah, let's get, let's get three percent. Um. Houses. We got the total number of houses. If you like numbers, here we go. Financial size, eight houses, one brick maker, one stockpile. And this is what it's costing us. Is that the upkeep every year? I'm guessing cost 168, maybe. Stockpile, and we got one fishing wharf, 18, and one well. It's costing us six to maintain it, I'm guessing. 
There's a scroll. Oh, there's plenty more. Fire Station 118. Granary, Clay Pit, and Bazaar. Okay. The granary is the most costing us, huh? 36. Yep. All right, let's click that off. All right. Let's click on the next thing. Close the region map. Okay, let's get back into the game. Back to our town. Whoa! We're up in the trees. All right, there we go. So how many fishing people? You got six, six workers here getting some fish for us. Where are they at? Are they out here? Where's the boats? There's the boats there. Are they out here somewhere? That'd be cool. All right. So we got 56 people. Let's, oh, the, the tutorial's done. We're masters. We did it, guys. Well, let's see what we can do. We can demolish stuff. Let's build some more... Uh, Board, build a few more houses here. I want to give you guys just a little a little idea of what this game's about. Hopefully I did that. Um, let's just yeah, let's just kind of uh, put them right behind here. And we're probably going to need another well. There's so these are four more. Um, oh, incoming dweller, incoming dwellers. Got that message right? Yep, we clicked that off. A request from a neighboring city. Oh, a messenger from the neighboring city has arrived. The the no march, no mark, <laughs> the no march. He's the traitor of the city. I ask, or or maybe the uh, like the what is that? The no march you guys. Tell me, it's like the mayor or something. I ask you to help him deliver the following goods to the settlement. So six hundred pottery. Okay. Uh, is that what we did? Okay, diplomacy. Here we go. Yeah, let's send them. Send it to them. We got remaining time. We got 58. What is this? 58 days to send them some uh, pottery. We don't have any pottery yet. We could click it off if we want. Let's just let's accept it. Let's see if we can <laughs> we can get that. Uh, um. What's what's going on here? There's some kind of problem. Not enough workers in the bazaar. Oh, we have zero available workers. So let's. That's the thing. Or oh, they're coming in. Look at they're barging in here. Get here. Uh, let's play. Oh, there is a times two, a times six. Okay, and a pause and really slow. Look how slow they're moving. Whoa. And check them out. <laughs> uh, Able workers, zero. What do they what do they need? They need access to a well because this one's just out of reach. No, it's not. It's in there. These are. So let's build another well. So it just hits everything. And it's gotta be placed. See here it's not green. So I can't place it there. It's just green, just out of reach. We'll do it. So we got like a little green patch there. And then you got their mini map here, guys. You know, the buildings, I guess the green ones are, they're color coded for us. The green ones are residential. I'm guessing the red are production. There's a fishing one. The, Food one might be light green there. Got one available worker. All right. So I'm gonna give you guys a little idea. Hopefully I did that. Uh, food production. Oh, we got farm. Let's put these out there. I see the icon. Okay, they can only be placed there, huh? Okay. All right. Let's put. Let's put. Uh, I'll put a road there in the middle. It's got to have road access, baby. Road access. Oh, I, I put that one over too far. Let's see that. See, that's, I'm glad they got the demolish button. We got some of our money back. There we go. Where's the, uh, put some farms there. Yeah. Is that right? There we go. Can't do that one. 
Where's where's our road? Where are we going? We don't need no roads. Let's right here. Oh, it demolished the tree right here. Beautiful. Look at that. There's the road from the fishing wharf. There we go. All right, it's a little wonky, but it'll work. And then how many people are in there working? 10, you get 10 in that baby. Wow, 80% efficiency. So they got um, corn, straw. What, what is this? This is the farm. Looks like corn, right? Is that what it is? Or wheat? I'm sorry, it's wheat. Wheat and straw. Yep. These guys need straw as well. Oh, look at all the, they look at all these guys. They're busting butt there. He's picking up the clay. We got these guys from going to the farms. Three of them. Oh, yeah. The stockpile's getting up there. We got a bunch of clay. Oh, yeah. This, you could, I can be, I could put hours into this type of game. You know, it, there's so many options. And look at this on the bottom. Look at the fire station. Is it covering everything? I guess the green, it's covered. Oh, yeah, it's a big circle. So we got that. We got the tax collector cover map. Which looks, I guess, I can't really see any tax collector. It's not green. Uh, Ware production. So these different filters. Water. Okay, so it's covering. Just barely covering that one, maybe. We should have doubled. We're doubled up here. We got a well here. We're, we have plenty. Um, the health coverage, I don't see it. And then police station coverage, we should have none. What's this? Show buildings icon. Okay. Well, that makes it handy, huh? There's an upgrade from one of our houses. That's cool. Got a couple farms. Oh yeah, I like that. And then what's this? We get back to the main menu. Oh yeah. Like I said, we can, like, we can put in hours in this game and just grow it. Look, look how big the... <laughs> It's, it's endless. This map is just huge. Which, my computer, if I got real big, because I played another game, the Patreon game, and it was okay until I got my city big, and then the lag was real. But I don't know. Maybe this game handles a lot better. Oh, look at the... Oh, it's flooding. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Where are they at? Did, did, my, did my people still there? Are they drowning? Okay, there's 10. Where, look at the cart. It's going in the water. Okay, it looks like he's actually not walking on water. It's pretty good animations. Okay, it's flooded. I'm kind of lost without the uh, tutorial, but that, that's the beauty of these type of games. You can do your own thing. Just click all the buttons. Click on the houses, see what they need. Right now, they need access to one type of food type. Really? I mean, there's the bazaars here. It should, uh, maybe... They got the, They got fish coming in all right what's here we got fish 500 look at all that fish 500 fish eat eat it up and the bazaars in the range of all the houses so he's they're distributing it or go to the right there there's people at the well here it's well, chilling out chilling out at the house click on the houses pin see what the guys people need so, pottery, it says zero. That's what they're storing in their houses. Let's see, he doesn't have any either. He's got access to well, though. Access to one type of food. I don't know, they got the fish coming in. And we got this, uh, the wheat here. Okay, what else can we build? What's this? The shrine. Oh, yeah, let's build a shrine. Let's put it... Um, oh, it covers all that. Let's put it by the right there in the center. Yeah, why not? 150. Whatever that's going to do for us, let's click on it. So, no workers are required. Effectiveness. What is this? No warnings. We'll, f we'll see what that does. We're trying to click all the buttons. Got that. What's this one? fire station we got a stockpile a granary another bazaar i think we're i think we're good um 
authority buildings. Decorative palm. Yeah, right there. A couple right there. 45 bread. Do we have bread coming in? I know we can go... Um, we haven't got any bricks or pottery, huh? Where's my potters? Got bricks. What do we got in the stockpile? Bunch of clay. Are we exporting that bricks? Is that what's going on? Clay. These guys are the brick makers. Okay. Oh, and there's some in here. Now there's some in there. I see them. Yeah, we got a hundred bricks. All right, got a hundred bricks. See, look at that nicely placed right there. Guess the kit. We got ninety, so no workers. So just keep building houses. That's the key at the beginning, huh? Let's build another. Uh, build another row. Yeah, why not? They got water access. That should be plenty. They need a road. Okay. Let's get over here so I can kind of see. Look at that. I'm a master at this. Okay. They got their road. They're happy. Now they're just waiting for some people. They should be spawning over here. Let's check it out. Here we come. Oh, what's this? Here's the trader. Okay. Does he look different? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's jogging. Check him out. <laughs> A nice suit. Orangish. Okay, where well, I'm guessing he's going over here to the... See if he follows the road or if he just kind of just goes straight here. What do you think? How the pathing here. Do I go over the road? I just cut this short. Oh, he does. He follows the road. Bump, ba -da -da -ba -bump. He's, he's running pretty good. Actually, let's speed it up, right? Time six. Ba -ba Whoa. So he comes over here. He's like, hey, man, do you have my bricks? What do you got for me? He is. He's taking his bricks. Oh, no. he's. Let's click on him. See what happens. Nothing. He's saying, dang it, I want those bricks. So we have that agreement. Uh-oh, wages were paid. 288 minus, okay. Yes, I think we're paying everybody what? Um, well, that's not it. That's not it. Brick, we got 500 fish. Okay, this is cool, okay. So we were exporting this. Im Wait, we're importing? Oh, we, we can. We can import wheat if we want. 38. It's 38. Okay. Bro. Wait, what's going on here? There's something going on here, guys. Milestone. We got. Hey, we're at settlement now. So, must have, oh, at 100. We're at 101. Oh, yeah. We're getting some good stuff in here now. All the bricks. What's this? Straw. Oh, the straw is piling up. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this is fun to me. This is fun, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's funny. I only got three available workers. Slowly but surely, you can go crazy, crazy, and just build all kinds of houses. But you might get in trouble. One of these guys needs some access to a well. Oh, that's right. It's got to be filled up first. They still need one more dweller in here, and then they can upgrade. So let's see what these guys access to a temple. Okay. So let's see, uh, authority buildings, yeah, buildings of cultural center, that might, plaza. Put the plaza right over, does that make sense? Right here. Two, hey, look at that, it's a nice little square. Go enjoy it, guys, enjoy your plaza. Here, we'll put a bunch of roads by it. There you go. We'll have some kind of little little dancing or something there okay where's the some more decorative palms that might help their you know uh, oh look how pretty it is here guys 
help might help their mood. Um, educational buildings, we got to unlock these. No military buildings yet, and defensive structures, nothing yet. Just got to get those milestones. Got to keep building houses and stuff. Um, or some maybe some maybe a couple more farms here. Let's bid. Uh, can we get another fishing wharf somewhere? Oh, what's this? That pops up. Zero of ten, three of two of nine. A worker is telling us workers available. There's two in this house. There's a total of seventeen. Um, there's no other spot to put this. I can't see. Maybe for this, the wares brought in. Okay, we're bringing. Oh, man, we are we are booming here in this town. Is that enough food, you guys? Or are we starving? How do I look at that? Clay can't eat clay, can ya? <laughs> this, uh, this is where we're trading, right? It's gotta figure it. Abydos. So they want to buy. Is that what they want to buy? Twelve bricks and weeds, and they want some clay. Is that what? Is that what it's saying? Want to sell? Sold. They want to buy that. So buy price okay so this will go up and down of course if we flood the market these these might be dynamic numbers depends how much we got it's a high demand for it, the price is going to be high we'll have to keep an eye on it right now whoa weapons are up to 468 sell price here at Abydos but ours right where is the weapons at 360 if we import them we export it. it's for, okay export price 468 which you know obviously we don't have any but we can import export straw we got a bunch of that we can export the, some of that how much though should we be able to adjust it say hey I want to keep at least you know at least a hundred straw here we can make some money so we can make 26 bread each time we sell some straw we got a bunch of that so let's sell that and then we're exporting bricks which we don't have any let's export some of this I'm gonna say clay but we need the clay I guess to make the bricks let's get another brick maker because they're kind of working slow huh <laughs> got 10 get another brick maker I think and that would be ideal right by it there we go got 23 workers available so get in there and make them bricks out oh, they're, they're there already so we need the straw we had plenty of it we have plenty of clay so bricks should be filing in here um, brick maker clay pit we got one just the one clay pit so but there is plenty there is plenty of clay here so I'm not gonna worry about that what's this defensive I'm gonna get some more farms yeah put it down uh, put a row between each one that makes sense makes sense there you go look at that let's just zoom in here as far as I can do look at that yeah they're getting that getting all that the wheat, the straw. They would be a working ten workers for each farm. Whoa, ten twenty. So yeah, that's quite a bit. Ten twenty thirty forty fifty sixty. Yeah, we only got five available. So we paid our wages. So they're all bringing that straw and the wheat over here to the stockpile. We got plenty of rooms. So we're gonna build some more houses. Where should we build those? Uh, these guys need access to food it's still saying what's the deal man what's this bizarre guy doing isn't he supposed to it's covering it um, so we can gather or collect carriers five okay they got okay they got some wheat there they're gathering okay What's this collect button do? Collect. 
don't know. Just click the buttons and see what happens. No warnings. It will collect wheat, whatever that means. Collect it for gathering it. And then we can only we can adjust this down here too. Say we only want okay, we only want a hundred. Right now, right now everything's maxed out at forty-eight hundred. All right. There's the trader guy again. Game was automatically saved. Okay, so we got that. Oh, here's the button. What's this? Eight hundred. Barely read it. Eight hundred here for looks like. Can't tell. Eight hundred. Something. And is that eleven or one of one hundred and a six hundred? Not sure what those are, guys. Got no beer though. We need that beer. That's a nice little. Show. Okay, there's no workers here. I don't think there needs to be workers at the shrine, right? And that's the distance it's covering. So they got their shrine. So what else? What do these houses need? Access to a temple. Well, I don't see temple here, guys. So you're out of luck. Keep building the houses. Let's put them over here. Let's put another house district over here. Let's see, one square between. Yeah, let's put, give them a little space. There we go. And we'll put some on the other side. All right, put the road down. Hey, I'm getting pro at this. the heck can't put it there obstacles what's the obstacle no obstacle there is that a rock or something guess that works right there like that cool all right Little, uh, little well over here should cover them. Beautiful. They're all coming in. Where's the people? Oh yeah, they said yeah. There's more houses. Let's go. What's this button? Map, map button M. All right, guys. Hopefully you get the idea. Looks like a cool little game. I could sit here and play hours for it and see how big we can get this city with all these new options could coming out. Probably more and more farms. And as you've seen it, I mean, look, there's a scroll bar and you can see um, if I can click the right button, you can look at your economy here, but right here, the economy, you can look at all these resources we got here. Okay, and just build up in all those buildings. So we gotta have it, and I can learn the trade system and stuff, and then and grow your city. To the biggest here on the Nile would be great, right? The biggest here on the Nile, the region map mode, and uh, that's it. Hopefully, you have fun. Hopefully, I showed you guys a little bit about the game. You're like, oh no, you're this this guy. This is terrible. I'm never going to buy this game. The thing is, you don't have to buy it. It's free. Yeah, these are all locked out. Can't talk to them. So I can only trade with these guys. And we got a partnership. There's the, that's there's a trade route there to that guy. And it looks like he was jogging. He was the jogger. He's jogging. <laughs> there he goes. I don't know if he's getting his items. So we got to probably click on his city and find out. But and it looks like there's going to be some more tax collector coverage map. There's some more buttons here, but they're grayed out. So maybe they're coming. Um, I don't know, but I can see a lot of potential. Hopefully this game, the developers keep developing it. And uh, we'll check back on this game in the future. But right now, guys, thank you for joining me. And until next time, remember, keep moving forward. What a lovely little city on the, on the river.